Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Java Tech Test. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to implement the merge chart algorithm in Java, a step-by-step -step solution. By end of this video, you will be able to code and understand how merge chart algorithm works. So let's uh, dive right in. Merge chart is a divide and conquer algorithm that splits the input array in halves each uh, sort each halves repeatedly and then merges the shorter half to make a shorter output merge chart is better than other algorithms for shorting data because it is very good at shorting large set of data let's see how merge chart works so merge chart works by repeatedly uh, splitting the input array in half until the array size is one which is the base case then it short the individual element and then and then joins the sub arrays that have been shorted until the whole array is uh, shorted merge sort most important step is the merge process which combines these two uh, started uh, sub arrays into a single shorted array two pointers one of each sub arrays are used to do the merge process these pointers compass the element and then put them in the right order in the output array so I have given the uh, elaborate pictorial diagram how it is internally works. So the first uh, first set is the inputted array. We are splitting until the base classes. Base classes mean nothing but each single array, each single element. Then we are merging <coughs> with a shorted one till until we get the final output shorting list. The code begins with the merge chart uh, class declarations, which contains the implementation of merge chart algorithm. The short method is the entry point for the merge chart algorithm. It takes an array, the left index and the right index as parameters. It recursively divides the array into smaller sub arrays until the base case is reached. The base case checks if the left index is smaller than the right index. If true, it means there are elements in the subarray and the shorting process continues. Otherwise, if left is not smaller than right, the method returns the recursive stop. Um, inside the sort method, the middle, ind middle index of the array is calculated the average of the of left and right. The method then recursively calls itself to short the left half of the array by passing the original array left and the middle as a new parameter. So another recursive call is to make to short the right half of the array by passing array middle plus one and right as a new parameter. Once the left and right halves are shorted, the merge method is called to merge the shorted subarrays. The merge method takes the original array, the left, middle, and right indices as a parameter. Okay. So in the merge method, a temporary uh, array is created to store the original array values. The size of the temporary array is the uh, same as the original array. A for loop is used to copy the values from the original array to the temporary array, starting from the left index and ending at the right index. Now the pointers i, j, k are initialized to left, middle plus one, and left respectively. 
These pointers are uh, used to keep track of the indexes of the left subarray, right subarray, and the merged array. While the while loops compares the value from the left and right uh, subarrays and assign the smaller value to the merged array. Then we need to increment the pointers or need to increment accordingly. Uh, the pointer that I mentioned about is i, j, and k. So now after the while loop, any remaining values in the left subarrays are copied to the merged array. Once the merge method completes, the shorted subarrays are merged and the original array is shorted. Now, uh, the main method demonstrate the match short algorithm. It implies an array with uh, some values. I'm going to use the values uh, that I explained in the previous slide. Uh, before shorting, the original array is printed. The short method is called to short the alga, uh, array, short the array using the math sort algorithm. So once um, after shorting, the sorted array is printed in console.
Now you can verify the results in the console. First one is showing an unshorted array that is just an input. Second one is inputted array got started. Thank you for listening and I hope you found this presentation helpful for understanding Merchat in Java. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and uh, uh, comment the video. Please uh, subscribe the uh, Java Tactics uh, channel for more videos.